How do first aid kits work? This is the second part of a series of videos on how equipment in Payday 2 works. Click the button up in the corner there for part 1 where I talk about doctor bags. Speaking of doctor bags, in the same tree you unlock that equipment, being the medic branch of the mastermind tree, there's another type of equipment available, the first aid kits. By default, you get four first aid kits, however, with the aced upper skill, a player can carry a whopping 14 of them! First aid kits can be placed very quickly, even more so with the basic equipment fix skill, and upon use will restore the player's health entirely, similar to a doctor bag. However, first aid kits will not restore downs. If you're black and white, using a first aid kit won't fix that. A first aid kit can only be used a single time before it's consumed, meaning you have the same amount of charges as you do total equipment, usually 14. If the player who placed the first aid kit has the aced uppers skill, that first aid kit has a special property. In the event that any player loses all their HP within 5 meters of that first aid kit, instead of being downed, the player's health will be fully restored and the down prevented. This consumes the first aid kit and leaves the player with a 20 second cooldown before they can be automatically saved by a first aid kit again. This effect is extremely powerful. By placing down a plethora of first aid kits in a room your crew is holding out in, players will find their lifespans greatly expanded. Although it's worth mentioning it won't save you from a cloaker or being fully haze to death. A good use for the aced uppers effect is repairing drills during a firefight. You can throw down a first aid kit at your feet before starting, and if you are shot to death, you'll stay alive more than likely long enough to finish the repairs. First aid kits, or facts as players will often shorthand it to in text messages, are useful for short to medium length heists to keep your team alive. Players running dodge builds with Inspire will often take first aid kits as opposed to doctor bags, as their abundance and life-saving abilities complement the risky playstyle of a dodge build. They are not a replacement for doctor bags, however, as they tend to be consumed far more quickly and, generally speaking, only delay going into custody as opposed to preventing it. I'll restate that I have a video on the pros and cons of doctor bags versus first aid kits, which you can find by clicking the button at the corner of your screen. So, when should a player bring first aid kits? Well, it depends on the heist and your build. As I've said, first aid kits cater to dodge builds more than armor builds, and they aren't a replacement placement for doctor bags. Most of the time, if no player brings first aid kits, so long as one or two players have brought doctor bags, there won't be any problem at all. However, if you want to bring first aid kits, you're more than welcome to. Just be sure to spread them around, pass them to teammates that need them, and drop them near key objectives to help save lives. I wouldn't recommend more than one player bring first aid kits, though. It's not disastrous if there are two players facting up your heist, but more often than not, doctor or ammo bags would be much more appreciated than 28 bursts of a HP. Speaking of, join me next time when I'll talk about ammo bags. Thanks for watching, and take it easy.